air pollution is everything in the air that's of harm to society, to our health or the health of other living things. They take quite a variety of forms from gases to very fine particles and tiny droplets of liquid. Mostly when we talk about air pollution, we're talking about things that have been emitted into the air from human related activities, such as the burning of fossil fuels. But there are some natural sources too, for instance, wildfires or volcanic eruptions. So why should we care about air pollution? Globally, air pollution claims approximately 3 million lives per year. That includes between 28,000 and 36,000 lives in the UK and contributes to a reduction in our national life expectancy of about six months. And air pollution exacerbates existing medical conditions such as asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. We should be concerned with improving air quality first and foremost when the most vulnerable people are exposed to most air pollution. The best way to reduce air pollution and improve air quality is to reduce the emissions of pollutants at source. And the single largest source of urban outdoor air pollution is road transport, the vehicles on our roads. So what part do trees play in cleaning our air? Well, they play different parts at different scales. Nationally, trees play a significant part, removing fairly small but valuable fraction of some air pollutants that are deposited to leaf surfaces and thereby removed from the air. And this is estimated to save the UK about one billion pounds a year. Now at urban planting scales, the influence of trees is less on the amount of pollution per se and more on its distribution. As well as enlivening our parks and green spaces, trees can help stimulate the vertical mixing of air between air at the level that we breathe it in that is generally more polluted and cleaner air above. And by stimulating mixing between the two, we see greater dilution of those pollutants and we're exposed to less pollution. So at the University of Birmingham, we've been developing software freely accessible to all to estimate the site dependent impacts of roadside planting, focusing on roadside hedges on local exposure to vehicular pollution. This is called the Green Infrastructure for roadside air quality platform. This software factors in lots of local conditions from the distribution of wind conditions expected aloft in that location of interest to you, to the nearby buildings with which those winds interact and drive patterns of airflow, the emissions from vehicles that are picked up and the mixing of those with somewhat cleaner background air. What's exciting is that most recently we've integrated this software into digital mapping software, so-called geographic information system software, so that instead of looking at one location at a time, we can explore thousands of locations. We've applied this to the London borough of Tower Hamlets, exploring the potential impacts of roadside planting at 50 metre intervals along each and every major road in the borough, contributing to a strategic planting guide for the borough council.